copper. One of the first metals man used. Thousands of years ago, it served the people of Greece. The men of ancient Egypt. The sailors of Rome. It mixes with zinc to make brass, tin to make bronze. Today, our supply of electricity depends on copper. Copper for electricity. Copper for communications. Copper for buildings. Copper for ornament. Copper lasts, is easy to work, beautiful. It is used all over the world, found all over the world. Copper has been produced in Australia for more than a hundred years. First of all in the 1840s at Wallaroo Munta, also at Cloncurry, Cobar and many other localities. Today, Mount Isa, Mount Lyle, Mount Morgan and Tennant Creek are the principal mining centres with refineries at Townsville, Mount Lyle and Port Kembla. Originally only a lead and zinc mine, Mount Isa is now one of the world's greatest copper producers and has sprung up in country where once a lonely horseman stopped and found outcrops of lead. His name was John Campbell Miles. He is 80 now and 40 years have passed since he first came here alone with his horses. Campbell Miles says, the first night I came here was 1923 in February. My old mare, she rushed me up to the water hole and only for her, there would have been no Mount Isa. If that old mare hadn't found water here, I would not have found any ore at all and therefore no Mount Isa. Forty years have seen changes that make Campbell Miles say, now I can't even find the place where I made my first camp. Although still a lead and zinc mine, Mount Isa is better known for its copper. The mine earned nearly eight million pounds from overseas exports of copper ore and metal in 1962. The mine operates down 15 levels to a depth of 2,400 feet. Not only copper comes up, there is lead, zinc, silver as well. On 11 level, Pietro Vidali goes to work. He's been at Mount Isa ever since he came from North Italy 10 years ago. One of 1,100 men below ground who send up 9,000 tons of ore a day. Lead zinc ore and copper ore are mined separately and both pulled up the ore shaft. The ore starts on its way to become metal, washed, crushed, screened, concentrated, filtered, dried, prepared for the first furnaces. Vern Eagling was born in Tasmania in 1923. That was the year Campbell Miles found the outcrops of lead at Mount Isa. Vern has been farmer, telegraph linesman, builder over most of Australia. But for the last four years, he's been at Mount Isa. He is a single man, too busy to get married, he says, too busy producing what he calls blister copper, only 99% pure. Up to 75,000 tonnes a year now from Mount Isa. Forty years ago, it was a man and a pack horse at a waterhole. 
Today, it's the town of Mount Isa with 14,000 people, the men of the mine, their families, the people who serve them. A train runs to the coast. Two airlines provide daily flights to link the town with the rest of Australia. Mrs. Henderson is a Sydney girl who came here with her husband three years ago. He works at the mine. They live in a house the mining company built. They travel to Sydney for their holidays some years, but they regard themselves as people of Mount Isa. Their baby girl was born here. For the Mount Isa Hospital, the company gave some funds to help, and it was built and staffed by the Queensland government. There are kindergartens and schools for the children, and the look of them proves there's nothing to that old story that you can't bring up a family in the tropics. Mount Isa is hot in summer, but not humid. And the winter is mild, dry, sunny. You can relax all the year round. Water for the town and for the mine comes from the Leichhardt Dam, which forms Lake Mundara a sheet of water nearly seven square miles in area and providing more than sufficient water to meet all Mount Isa's requirements. In spite of their isolation, the people manage a pretty comfortable life. Picture theatres and drive-ins, radio stations, library, Mount Isa has them all. It's a worker's town, a metal town. Cakes of blister copper are refined on the coast 600 miles away. Transport was another problem to solve. The cakes of copper weigh more than a ton each, and there are a thousand or so to shift every week, as well as all the other mined products. Cooperation solved the problem. The Mount Isa Townsville Railway had not been designed for the traffic. Heavier loads had to be carried. The Commonwealth and the Queensland governments combined to finance the rebuilding at estimated cost of about 30 million. Two thirds from the Commonwealth and one third from the state. When the line is completed, it will be dieselized and provide high velocity rolling stock to carry the increased output from the mines and the wool and livestock from the inland. Trains carry the blister copper across the northern inland to Stewart near Townsville, the northern Queensland seaport. Here a subsidiary of the Mount Isa mines completes the refining of the copper from blister to copper pure enough for any commercial use. Merrick Millard is a 20-year-old Queenslander who passed the state senior examination in 1959. Now he's working as a laboratory assistant while he studies part-time for a science degree at the University of Queensland. The company pays for his course. First step in the refinery is to remelt the blister copper. Every step is carefully controlled, measured and watched by men like Millard. Molten copper is molded into anodes for the final process. 70% of the copper produced is for electrical work and must be pure. Standards here in Townsville are most exact. Anodes made from the impure blister copper go into an acid bath with between them thin plates of pure copper known as starting sheets. The stacking goes on until the bath is full. The plates are arranged and the current switched on to run through the bath. 
the current carries copper from the anodes and deposits it on the starting sheets. After two weeks, they are ready to come out. Although copper can be sold as it comes from the bath, more often it goes back to the furnace to be recast in a more convenient form. The commonest shape for raw copper is what the copper men call wire bars, because copper wire is made from them. Batteries of machines and the skills of men make copper. Australian copper is rated highly on the markets of the world. A great and expanding enterprise has been built on the outcrop of ore Campbell Miles discovered. From Townsville in 1962, thousands of tons of refined copper left for world markets, over 16,000 tons that earned five million pounds for Australia. Copper from Townsville. Copper from Australia, pure copper, world quality copper. Copper for London, Brussels, for Tokyo. Copper from Australia, another field for Australian commerce, a new pattern that depends on a great organization and on men. Men like Pietro Vidali, working underground at Mount Isa. Or Vern Eagling, pouring blister in the Mount Isa smelter. Like Merrick Millard, keeping a careful eye on the final processes. Like Campbell Miles, who discovered the field that men have developed in the face of climate and distance, of shortages and difficulties, to build another Australian industry.